So what is it about a carbohydrate that depletes your vitamin B1? Well, vitamin B1 is necessary for the metabolism or breakdown of carbohydrates. They call it carbohydrate catabolism. Okay, so catabolism means the breakdown of something. So the more carbs someone consumes, the more B1 is necessary. Now this also goes for alcohol, dextrose IVs. Let's say you're in the hospital and they're feeding you dextrose, which is a synthetic sugar. You will eventually be depleted of vitamin B1. Stress can also deplete you of B1. And also being a diabetic because you have this high amount of sugar that's flowing through your, your blood vessels. And B1 is critical for biochemical pathways. A lot of your brain chemistry, neurotransmitters, like GABA that makes you calm, dopamine related to pleasure, all require vitamin B1. Nucleic acids, that's your genetics. Fatty acids and even steroids, like steroid hormones, need vitamin B1. Also, B1 defends against oxidative stress. This is why when you're on a high-carb diet, you become a pre-diabetic and a diabetic. You become deficient of B1, and then you start getting peripheral neuropathies, or neuritis, which is nerve pain, usually in your fingertips or your toes or the bottom of your feet. And just as a side note, if you have peripheral neuropathy and you're a diabetic, the simple remedy is to take benfotamine, okay? Benfotamine is a special type of B1. It's a fat-soluble B1, so it penetrates the nerves, and it's very effective against diabetic neuropathy. Now, the two most sensitive tissues to a vitamin B1 deficiency are, number one, your nerves slash brain, and number two, your heart. If the nerves are involved, you're going to get neuritis, neuropathy, anxiety. You're going to feel very agitated. You're going to have a lot of nervous energy built up, and it's going to be very hard to relax. If you have a severe B1 deficiency, it can cause, um, what was that, uh, dementia and confusion and even nightmares. And so if your kids are having nightmares or you're having nightmares, B1, it'll handle it. Now, if the heart is affected with a B1 deficiency, your pulse rate will start going up. You'll start developing edema in your lower legs. And you could even experience heart failure. But other than that, you're going to be totally fine. And of course, the best source of B1 is a natural source. I recommend nutritional yeast. I put a link down below for more information on a pretty good source. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.